Hello everyone, I'm Tokoro and today we're doing a LEGO Star Wars Rogue One uh, 2016 server view on set number 75125, or uh, 52, excuse me, uh, Imperial Assault Hover Tank. Uh, this set comes with 385 pieces and it's ages 7 to 12. We got three minifigures, we get two Imperial uh, Hover Tank pilots, and um, I believe I can, I'm trying to pronounce his name correctly, I've been trying to, uh, Chirat I mean, I think that's how I, I think that's how you say it. If I'm wrong, I'm my sincere apologies, but I'm talking about this guy, obviously. So without further ado, uh, let's take a look at the box and move this to the side. So here's the box. Uh, in the US, this set costs is thirty dollars. Other countries, I believe, costs is thirty five or thirty four. I believe. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section down below. Once again, around the box, we have the details of the set, also the set itself. It's really cool. And you also get three minifigures, two Imperial Pilots, and, and Curate Eye Wing. Uh, top of the box, shows the figures and the actual size of Curate Eye Wing. Flip around to the back, we have uh, the features, such as what we can do with the hover tank and such. Uh, pretty cool, and it shows the uh, Force Builder app. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. Now let's take a look at the figures that are included in this set. So here are the figures in this set. Uh, we have Sheer Eye Wing and the two Imperial uh, Troopers. So we're going to take a look at Shirt I Wing. Once again, if I, I apologize if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Um, but here he is. Looks really nice. Has a stick for a weapon or a, some sort of staff for, for what we might be using the light, uh, lightsaber hilts. That's pretty cool. Also has uh, his gun, which is very accurate to the movie. And with the figure itself, he has like the kind of comb back hair, which is really cool. He has a white hand and a pale hand. And so on his uh, chest printing, it looks really nice. Really detailed, to, uh, re, re, really detailed also, he has like a white belt going around his chest. Uh, he doesn't have any leg printing, but he has like this kind of uh, soft fabric of a skirt piece, really cool. I think he can take his off. Um, his first face, he has, you know, he's smiling, and his other face is very serious. Um, and he also he can, um, he also can put uh, his weapons on his back with a little backpack he has. And there's the back printing of the figure. So yeah, it's really cool. really do like this figure. I think I had to say he is my favorite of the Rogue One team. It's like a figure itself, and the character was really interesting, too. I liked how he was in the movie. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for Shiro and I Wing. Uh, I think, I, I, once again, I'm sorry if I said his name wrong, but yeah. Here's the Impre yeah, Imperial uh, Hover Tank pilot, or trooper. I mean, yeah, pilot. Um, he looks really cool. He has the same helmet mold as the short trooper. Really cool. And we get two of these, obviously. They have the same jack printing. Um, you can see the nice printing on the front torso and the legs. Really do like that. He also comes with a gun. Take the helmet off. He has the same angry stormtrooper face as everything we get with every stormtrooper and clone trooper. You got the back printing also. Lego, just a recommendation. Please make a new face. I really like to have a new face for the Imperial stormtrooper. I mean, um, like for like all kinds of, you know, just make a new face overall for the stormtroopers and such. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much it for all the figures. Now let's take a look at the hover tank itself. So here is the Imperial hover tank. It looks really cool. Um, first thing, uh, first things first is basically uh, you can uh, move these turrets you have on each side. You can move them up and down, so they're kind of like shooting something in the sky. They can do that, so that's really cool. I do like that. Um, also, you have the top, which has a kind of rifle on it, and you can like move around. Or if you have like a hover tank pilot on top of here, just trying to shoot some rebels that are getting in the way or people are getting in the way. Um, also, I point this out that you actually can put like uh, like well, their guns if they have any guns on them. You can put them like right here. They have like handles on each side of the hover tank, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I do like that. And there's some places where you can put the hover tank, uh, like pilots or just some uh, stormtroopers, or if you have any other stormtroopers with your uh, Star Wars collection and such, right on the studs right here, or maybe some other parts of the hover tank also. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And the color scheme of the hover tank is like the Imperial hover, uh, the Imperial or Empire color scheme itself is black. And, I mean, not black. Um, dark gray or, or just like gray, uh, regular gray. Um, so I think that's really cool. This fit well, obviously. Um, what else? Um, I do like the build. It has a nice tank build to look, a, a nice tank look to it, and that's what you know, they were trying to intending to do. And I think they did a great job at it, and I do like it. I had a lot of fun. Uh, well, ha I had a lot of fun building this. Um, we, in the back here, we actually have like a place where you can put like the cargo um, and such. I got like the little crate right here and inside of it you have binoculars and a little pistol uh, you have two figures hold this crate and it's a really nice build I do like it nice color scheme of orange some new recolors here I believe so that's pretty cool I do like this uh, you actually put two um, in here actually uh, like on the back of it um, how that works actually just have like the two little um, like 
some like pinhole or not pinholes but like two little spots so you can place the crater uh crate not crater but crate down uh you can get the other one from like the bunker set with Jen Astro and um, the uh, two store, uh, shore troopers that come to Death Star plans, I believe. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, what else? Uh, actually, might as well show you guys this too. Um, on each side of the hover tank, there's a gear. See right here and right here. Um, what we basically do is that it actually is a uh, spring-loaded sh shooter on the front, which looks like it's making like it's like a turret right here, or not a turret, but like a kind of like a place like it's gonna shoot. Like maybe the pilot right here is shooting. Um, actually, you see that. Kind of hard to see, but you have this, uh, spring shooters on each side. Basically, what you do, you turn these gear, you turn these gears, and the spring shoot. Ah, sling. I can't say correctly. My apologies. Uh, spring shooter uh, shoots out, and it does fly out pretty hard as always with the other ones. And it, I think it's actually, work, I think it's really cool, and I think it's in a better position than other uh, spring shooters with sets because they're usually uh, kind of high. But well, this one actually does justice because you yeah, actually can shoot down the ground where the rebels or like characters could be if they're trying to, you know, stop people from getting in their way. Um, so let me try, uh, sure, I win. Bam, got him. That was a direct hit. Um, so yeah, work, works really well, obviously. Um, so I do like they did that. So yeah, I like it. And also you guys can see the wheels on the bottom. That's how beautiful. Figure came out. That's how the vehicle moves. The the, the uh, Technic wheels. That's why I like them. I think they're in a uh, new color, I believe, with the uh, translucent uh, white. See, so yeah, that's really cool. I do like that. And it's very, you know, unnoticeable. Like you don't barely see because it's it, it's actually under the tank. So I do like that. And see, I had the wheels being, um, you know, just like you can see it. You know, you don't have you can't see it. So it actually looks like the vehicle is like moving around without wheels but it it works pretty well on um on wood and other things but it actually goes when you move around real fast it actually comes sounds kind of bad but if you have it on carpet it actually works pretty well that's why i tried so um yeah uh last but not least with the vehicle uh, is actually the like the main interior of it which is where the pilots are and you can put both of the pilots in there uh they're kind of snugged in there which is really nice i do like that uh, you can open the top to get um, one of the men, oh, and then you can open the front here to get the other one in. Um, they're basically just, they're just in there, they're not actually uh, in there like exactly, they're just like, you can take them out very easily. Is they're using like the, this piece, that piece right here, uh, it's kind of see, but it's a piece that they usually use now. Is that piece that likes to between their legs and like keeps them in there, but not... It isn't completely keeping in there, but it does does justice. So yeah, no kind of like control panel pieces, which you know, I'm not really surprised about. But uh, it's still cool though. Um, one thing to notice about the uh, Prey Hover Tank Troopers, I have to say this right now, is that their helmets come off really easily. I noticed that. Um, I don't know why, but I noticed ever since I got this set for Christmas. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much it for the Hover Tank itself. And now let's gonna let's let's end off this review and give my final thoughts. So that's basically it for this uh, set review. I actually remember the name for the uh, the spring loaded shooters. That's what they are. This uh, you know things that shoot on the front. They're called spring loaded uh, loaded shooters. My sincere apologies for getting the name wrong. I, I haven't you know said that term in a while, and this is actually my, pretty much my first system set review of using that term. Uh, so yeah. Um, overall, I think it's a great set. I do recommend it uh, for a thirty dollars price range. I think it's awesome for price uh, parts uh, price for piece uh, because it's actually three hundred eighty five pieces and it does well. And actually, it's almost around four hundred, so I think that does even better. It's like eighty five more pieces than it's what it's priced supposed to be. And plus, the minifigures are awesome. Yeah, we do get Imper uh, two Imperial, yeah, two of the same minifigure, but it's still cool. They're really nice details on them, and I do like them. I kind of like them a little bit more than the Tie Fighter pilots. Now, is it, are they better than Stormtroopers? Heck no, but that's just my opinion. But they're pretty cool, too. I do like them, and the detail on them is really nice, too. But hopefully, we get another set to, like with other vehicles and such. Uh, Cured I Wing is actually really cool, too. I do like his staff and the look of the figure itself. Really cool. And overall, I do recommend this set. The tank is really nice, too. You know, I like the build. I had a lot of film, uh, fun building it, and I do like all the Rogue One sets, pretty much. I think all of it has something unique with it, and I think this set has a nice kind of... Um, like army kind of army kind of feel to it just because of the tank 
and I think it is really cool. I do recommend this set, and I will give this set a 9 out of 10. Just the only flaw I have with it is just with the um, Imperial Hover Tank pilots with their um, helmets and such, and just a few other minor thing uh, things that I'm not going to mention. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. You guys enjoyed this video. Give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs down. It's your decision. Tell you guys what you think of this set in the comment section down below. Until then, I'm Tokoto, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.